Hi. So I've been sitting here for hours thinking about what to do, thinking about what to say, thinking about uh, what I can talk about tonight. It's now 10.11pm on the 25th of January 2022 um, in New South Wales. It would be 11.11. Don't know if the four ones has any significance to anything, but... My only real point today is sometimes you just need to get in and get things done. Sometimes when you've got a heap of time to plan and a heap of time to organise yourself, sometimes you don't really do it. So I've been getting really annoyed at some of the things I hear on the news at the moment because certain parts of the systems that we have that are run by the government are now saying that They can't handle it. There's nothing in place to deal with it. We're going to be overrun. But at the end of the day, this particular thing that they're going to be overrun with, they've had two years to do something about. And even if what they said was going to happen um, with the unknown virus of unknown origins and the um, jabby-jabby associated with it, it's still been many, 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 many months in other countries that what's happening now here has been happening there. There's been enough time to do something about it. Maybe because they didn't feel it was pressing or whatever. So sometimes, regardless of the resources, sometimes you still just don't get shit done. And that's unfortunate and that's sad. But me not getting this done, me not getting in here and writing stuff down and planning and just dicking around on the internet for hours doesn't affect anybody but me. I couldn't handle the pressure that these people are under. I couldn't make the decisions that these other people have to make. But it doesn't mean I can't be a little annoyed that it doesn't really seem they've made any cogent, logical decisions. Anyway, that's all I've got to say about that. So this is just called round. It could have been called round and round and round because that's all I've been doing, really. Going to work, coming home, stuffing around for a while, then coming in here and making a video about nothing in particular. I mean, yesterday I told you a story um, that was quite funny, but again, wasn't necessarily a positive story. It was just something about human nature. But that is what the point of this story is. So I'm not particularly happy at the moment with with my life. Totally internally. Nothing external is causing the grief in my life that I'm going through at the moment. It's because I keep personally making decisions that aren't progressing me, that aren't making things better. I'm not not displaying discipline and control and getting stuff done. So I can't really blame anybody else for that. I can't blame any situations for that because at the end of the day, there's still electricity. Electricity? I usually call it uh, electricity. But for some reason, I decided to mix like three words together. Don't ask me what those three words are. I could not have any idea whatsoever. Um, I've got electricity. I've got a camera. I've got a microphone. I've got lighting that's not that bad. I've got a lovely background with a a few different things in it and I'm not doing anything about it can't blame anybody else I've spent years acquiring these little bits and pieces and and trying to feel good about myself so that I can do this because at the end of the day I sit here and when I so I look down here that was weird the screen just went blank um When I look down here at the monitor, hang on, I can actually... So when I look down here at the monitor, so on here, there's me. Now it's on the other view. On the other view. So all I see is my uneven teeth, my red face, my shiny head, hat that I don't even like because I don't even really like caps. I don't think they're necessarily flattering. I don't think they're necessarily, um, well, they're not all that useful. 
and the sun the sun people recommend a, a wide brimmed hat but because I'm not in the sun who cares what the sun people say so I can sit here and think about all the things that I don't like and sit here and think about all the things that could be better that could be improved that aren't the way they're meant to be I mean I'm not George Pitt or Brad Clooney I'm neither of these people and I'm not even necessarily funny like Adam Sandler 20 years ago and I suppose he might still be considered funny he still gets paid to make films uh, so I'm none of these things but I'm still me and I'm still uniquely me and I think that's what all of us need to remember is that we are uniquely ourselves. Nobody can be us the way that we can be us. And it's nobody else's right to tell us who we really are. So if you have people in your life telling you that you are something that you're not, that's not ideal. Now, sometimes we are incapable of seeing what we really are or who we really are. So people saying, hey, you're good enough, you're smart enough, and gosh darn it, people like you. Sometimes that might be beneficial, it might be useful, it might be a good thing. But sometimes it's not. So that's all I've really got to say. I was going to call this potato today. Um, I don't know why, I just had a bug up my butt about calling this, uh, well actually one potato, one potato. One potato, two potato. Isn't there a, like a nursery rhyme or something like that? I don't know. Apparently it goes up to seven and you've got to go uh, one potato, two potato, three potato, four, five potato. And then when you get to more, I don't know, you do jazz hands or something. I don't know. It doesn't seem very nursery rhymey. It doesn't seem very clever. But I, I'm not a nursery rhymist or a cleverist. So... We need to decide for ourselves and for our families what's best. And that might draw fire from the world. But the main rule in life is not hurting other people. So that's my libertarian tendencies coming out, I suppose. And we could always have a massive debate about whether libertarianism is actually a real thing or not. But I think philosophical libertarianism is fine. Political libertarianism is just rife with some problems because that's not really the way the world works and that's not the way people work. But my mate Ryan replied to one of these videos and said, just leave me alone to do what I want to do and I'll leave you alone to do what you want to do. And I think that's a really, really, really good policy that we should have, provided what I'm doing doesn't interfere with other people so tomorrow is Australia Day there's some contention in this country about Australia Day that I'm not really going to go into but if you're Australian you know what the contention might be it's supposed to be a day that celebrates this this nation that we've built now whether there were uh, was an original nation I mean there was sort of group of nations whether there was a, an original nation isn't really the point we're not saying that doesn't exist we're not trying to eliminate history what we're trying to do is bring ourselves together as a culture not as a race not even necessarily as peoples but as a culture as this unifying thing that that's allowed us all to be happy and to build lives for our families and to and and to i don't know hang out at the beach under an umbrella get attacked by sharks get chased by uh, crocodiles and and killed by snakes as everyone else in the world seems to think is all that happens in australia so tomorrow's australia day i'm not doing a video i've got um family things to do and australia day things to do I was just looking to see if I had a uh, flag sitting in here that I could wave just to uh, show you how wonderful it is to wave flags for your chosen patriotic activity. But I don't really have one, so I can't do it. And um, I don't really have much else to say today. But be excellent. Be excellent to each other. Um, 
if you don't look after yourself, it's really, really, really difficult for other people to look after, look after you. If you can't look after yourself, please ask for help. It's there's no shame in asking for help, and um, sometimes I don't when I should. But still, be excellent to each other, and uh, that's all I've really got to say about that.